This video is about the entry widget into Kinta. Now the entry widget is this little thing here and we would recognize it as most of the dialog boxes that we enter text into in when we're using the computer in any user interface. Um, so this little um, program is going to let you enter text in, um, click the display button and that text is first off the box is going to get wiped and that text is going to be put into a label that we have down the bottom here. So let's look at the code that we need to do to create this, make this happen. So I've imported to Kinta, we've created our window as per usual. I have created two loops, um, not two loops, two labels, um, which both go into root. That's the entry widget and the enter message here. Entry widget, I'm using the, gr the grid geometry manager this time. So it goes into row zero, column zero, and it, column, it spans all three columns that we're gonna have in our um, display here. The next one, label, which is just basically saying the enter message, um, little instructions, and that's going to go in the second row, um, in the first column, and then we have a button, which we all know about. The buttons are going to go the other side of that, I'll bring it back up to show you, the other side. So we've got the enter label over here, we've got the button, that's in our third column over here, you can see. So it's, um, it basically has display as the text and it runs the command display, which we'll talk about in a second when we run that function up there. Um, grid, so the grid is going to be row, the second row and the third column. Um, and then finally we have the display labeled on the bottom here, which is what will get changed. And it's going into the third row and it's um, the zero column, but it's spanning all three columns. So that's the way it's laid out. Now, let's have a look at the actual entry box. The entry box, to create one, you simply call it, um, give it a name. So I'm giving it a name entry box, and it is a entry, and it will go into the root window. Um, once we've done that, we need to actually put that into the grid as well too. So the entry box goes into the grid of um, the second row and then the second column, the middle column. So the interesting part now is this display command. So the function up here display, when we've done that, the first thing we need to do is we need to get the text that is currently in the entry box. So the entry box or in the entry, and so which we call entry box. So I'm going to assign that to a variable called user input and entry box dot get is how you get the values um, what has actually been entered into the entry. So once you've done that, we can then delete the text that is in the entry. So entry box dot delete, starting from the very beginning and going to the end. Notice this is um, capital letters, so it's a value that comes from Tekinta. So it's important that you capitalize it. And once I've done that, once I've actually cleared the entry box, then I can display, use that display label and change um, configure the text so it now says whatever the user had put into the user input into the entry box so if that's working now f5 here it comes and if I can say hello and it'll display hello and if I say goodbye because I've cleared the actual box and the event handler is reacting to the new click so it changes it back to that so that is how we use a entry box.